Hello, welcome back. This is Kristen on our journey through the Bible. We finished Genesis, completed all 50 chapters. And if you missed yesterday's chapter 50, well, they laid Jacob to rest and Joseph also passed away. So um, we're going to get into the second book of Moses now, which is called Exodus. And we're going to just start right up. So I'm so glad you're here joining me. Be sure to click subscribe. And um, also, if you're going to come back each day, you can get notifications. So just click those and it'll let you know when I put on my next video. One chapter a day. We're going to do this. Okay, chapter one of Exodus. Now, these are the names of the children of Israel who came to Egypt. Each man and his household came with Jacob, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. All those were de who were descendants of Jacob were 70 persons, for Joseph was in Egypt already. And Joseph died, all his brothers and all that generation. But the children of Israel were fruitful and increased abundantly, multiplied and grew exceedingly mighty, and the land was filled with them. Now there arose a new king over Egypt, who did not know Joseph. And he said to the people, Look, the people of the children of Israel are more mighty than we. Come, let us deal shrewdly with them, lest they multiply and it happen in the event of war that they also join our enemies and fight against us and so go up out of the land. Therefore, they set taskmasters over them to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh supply cities Pithom and Ramses. But the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they were in dread of the children of Israel. So the Egyptians made the children of Israel serve with rigor, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar, in brick, and all in the manner of the service of the field. All their service in which they made them serve was with rigor. Then the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, of whom one was the name Shifra and the name of the other Pua. And he said, when you do the duties of a midwife for the Hebrew women and see them on the birth stools, if it is a son, then you shall kill him. But if it is a daughter, then she shall live. But the midwives feared God and did not do so as the king of Egypt commanded them but saved the male children alive. So the king of Egypt called for the midwives and he said to them, why have you done this thing and saved the male children alive? And the midwives said to Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian women for they are lively and give birth before the midwives come to them. Therefore, God dealt well with the midwives and the people multiplied and grew very mighty. And so it was because the midwives feared God that he provided households for them. So Pharaoh commanded all his people saying, every son who is born, you shall cast into the river and every daughter you shall save alive. And so the slavery of the Israelis begins. Woof. Oh, tomorrow, chapter two is the birth of Moses. So thanks for coming today, and I hope to see you back here tomorrow. Be sure to leave me comments when God puts something on your heart about the scriptures we've gone through. And when you dive deeper into it, give us comments and let us know what you saw and what you learned from the chapters as we go through them. One chapter a day, we're going to make it all the way through Revelation. So come back again tomorrow. Thanks again. God bless.